The next pattern we would want to look at is the visitor pattern. A visitor pattern defines a new operation to a class without change. There are a lot of situations when we are designing frameworks that we don't want other people to modify the code of the framework. So basically we want others to be able to extend the functionality without touching the code inside the framework. In those kind of situations, we would want to allow them to add new operations, but we don't want to allow them to change the code underneath. And that's where the visitor pattern comes in. The implementation of visitor pattern is a little tricky thing, so we would really stay away from it. A good example for a visitor pattern is the operation of a taxi company. As soon as a person calls a taxi company and the company dispatches a cab to the customer, we are accepting a visitor. So the cab company is accepting a visitor, that's the new customer. Once the visitor has entered the taxi, so once the customer enters the taxi, he's no longer in the control of where he's going. The driver of the cab is now in the control. So the visitor would be now in the control of another class who is the driver. And the driver can add new operations on top of the visitor. Kind of a good example of the visitor pattern. Typically, when you are in a situation where you have, you're building a framework and you want somebody to be able to extend it or add new operations on top of it, but you don't want them to be directly modifying the code of the framework, in those kind of situations, you can consider visitor pattern as an Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.